Hey everybody, welcome back to our coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2015. I am joined here by Phil Reed from Steve Jackson Games, who is going to be showing us a couple of things, starting with Mars Attacks, the dice game. All right, okay. Phil, so uh, run me through this a little bit. All right, so Mars Attacks, the dice game plays in about 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, three to six players. So we'll have an imaginary player here. Hey, buddy. He's probably going to win. He will. He he playing against does. me, he will probably beat me. So we will make you the first player, okay. just because I want to be nice, mm -hmm. and on your turn you roll all of the dice. Okay. And what you're trying to do is destroy cities, or there are monuments that you can try and have your picture taken at. Okay. So the first thing you do is choose a city to attack. All right. Or try and go have your picture taken. I see. Well, I'll take out New York, because uh, okay. well, it's New York. So Sorry. you roll all your dice. And so I would roll all these. Yes. So the Martian heads are re-rolls, okay. the nukes are bad for you. Ah. So if you fill up all of the nukes that are showing on these cards in play, your turn is over and you have no progress or anything at all. Mm -hmm. You can re-roll re all these. Like, okay. Yes, and what you're trying to get, if you rolled dice before, because you're yeah. really, really bad at it. Now these have six sides, is that right? <laughs> so, so the goods so the is what I'm going for, good, there we go. You need those to attack. Got it. But I'm got pretty two close more to being the nukes. Done. Yeah. So if you roll one more nuke, it's bad. Like that. So your turn's over. Mm -hmm. you're, you're like the worst Martian known to me. Yeah, really. I, don't, I, I came from another planet, I think. I think so. Okay. <laughs> then you pass the dice to the next player. And that player again chooses. When you finally fill one of these cards mm -hmm. with. So, um. Let's back up a little. Right. Because you had done so poorly, we didn't get to show anybody what happens. <laughs> so let's say you hadn't been bad at rolling dice, and you would roll this. That's really good. Because you have seven ray guns there. Mm -hmm. So you would have taken your token and placed it on the seven on New York. And the next time you attack, you start at the six, because New York is a violent city, and mm. they fight back. Got it. And you decrease by one. Several of the cities have special rules and different things can happen. This is what you should have done. You shouldn't have rolled the way you did. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> when the next player comes along, like if I'm now, I'm going to attack New York. So I roll all the dice. That's pretty Clearly bad, you've too. you've ruined to our dice. I'm going to have to destroy these. I believe so. These are tainted. Do they let you play games often? Because... And no, they, they mostly I mean, keep me locked that up. That was nothing. So we'll pretend that you didn't have the dice before me and mm -hmm. ruin them. So if I had rolled that, I would not continue from where you had left off. I have to start I at see. the one point. Myself. So what's the, what's the end game trigger here? So the game ends when a player takes the last card in any one of the decks. Mm -hmm. And then you finish out the round. All the cities and monuments have different point values. You do a little bit of math. Math is hard. 22. Got it. Player with the most points wins. Sounds good. It's super quick. It's very easy. Creates a lot of laughs at the table. Very nice. Very Usually nice. because some people can't roll dice. Basically. That's basically it. <laughs> All right. Great. So um, tell us about what else you have coming up. So we have another Mars Attacks dice game mm -hmm. coming up, but it is unrelated to this, and it is a dexterity game. Mars Attacks 10-Minute Takedown, which I would show if I had it with me. As you flying saucers around the table and attacking mm -hmm. targets, flicking dice from your saucer. <laughs> okay. If your die lands on the target, you destroy it. Got it. Player who gets the most points at the end of the game wins. The game ends when all the targets have been destroyed. Now, is it actually 10 minutes? Because I know a lot of games that uh, is, say they, they provide five minutes well, of fun, but they're 30 minutes. That's where players like you are going to be a problem because you've proven you don't know what dice are. True. So for players who have a little hand-eye coordination and can flick dice without going on the table or in your drink or things like that, it's about 8 to 12 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Sounds I'm good. assuming that it's your probably entire night because you're just going to keep... Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be looking for them in every corner I can possibly find. So there's one more thing I was hoping you would talk about, and that is a little game that... Uh, that uh, I've been a fan of, and that is uh, Hill for two for uh, Battle for Hill two eighteen. Yes, which you are bringing back. 
Well, there was a Kickstarter project last year for a reprint of the Battle for Hill 218. Right. It's a great little two-player World War II card game. Right. I first got to play it at Board Game Geek Con in 2007 mm-hmm. and bought a copy on the spot because mm-hmm. it's, it's a fun, it's tough. Right. I mean, it takes a lot of brain power and I don't have much of that these days. <laughs> but um, we started talking with Chad at mm-hmm. Your Move Games and decided, you know what, let's make an ogre. Hill 218 game. So, just announced is Ogre Operation 218, which is a two-player Ogre card game that is based on the battle for Hill 218. I see. So, is it a direct reprint, or is it simply based upon it? It is based upon it. It has original Ogre artwork, and there are Ogre cards (laughs) into the mix now. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. So, what else have we got coming up? We have the new Garbage Pail Kids dice game in the works. Okay. That's going to be very disgusting. Nice and gross. Yes, Good. that'll be fun. We have a Judge Dread expansion for Munchkin Apocalypse coming out. Ah. Our partners at USAopoly have announced Munchkin Zombies The Walking Dead, mm-hmm. which is an expansion for the Munchkin Zombies tuck box game. And they've also announced a new core game, which is Munchkin The Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice. Yes. Very cool. That's, That's very exciting. Very fun. Yeah, that's exciting news. Well, excellent. Okay, Phil, well, thanks for uh, filling us in on that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.